it going everyone? Manus Party here bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. For today, it's time for an older deck. I'm actually really enjoying looking at one of the older decks every week. And this week's actually a bit of a shout out one. Now, for the life of me, I can't remember who asked for this deck. But I remember someone asking for a deck that had um, Neuvern on it. So, that's the deck I'm going to pick up. And so this video is going to be a first impressions of the Night Stalker deck. Uh, not nice. Sorry, Night Striker. I've never played this deck before, so quite frankly, I have no idea. Oh, that's very cool. It's a light blue Mega Mewtwo X coin. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so let's see what's actually in this deck. I have no idea. <laughs> um, so it's a dark deck, which is pretty cool for a change. Um, I like the different, which is always good. So Zora, uh, Zora Moonless Madness. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. I'm okay with that. Dark energy, discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. Not so okay with that. Uh, I'd basically only be using Moonless Madness with this Pokemon. I uh, very unlikely to use Dark Edge. For any 30 damage? Hmm. Zorak. 100 HP. Ability stand in. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon, so it's a free switch. I am very okay with that. Um, I love. I want to say I love like those tricksy mechanics uh, where you're sw switching in the whole time. I like this. I like the stand in a lot. And then Mind Jack. This attack does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's working off of your opponent's bench again. Um, similar to the Imperial Command deck. That's quite cool. Uh, I mean, most people end up having about three or four benched Pokemon. So it's, this, it's dealing about 100 damage to 100, 100 to maybe 130 damage. That's not bad, actually. It's pretty decent for two energies. I'm okay with that. Teddy Ursa! Very cute artwork. I love it. The little bear Pokemon. Uh, two energies, flop, 30 damage. Eh. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Ursa Ring. 130 HP. So it's decently tanky. It's out of the 120 one-shot range, which is very, very good to see. 130 HP is that very nice sweet spot. Uh, drag off for three energies. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage to the new active Pokemon. Oh, I'm liking this deck. I love, I love messing with your opponent. I love discards. I love milling. I love this. I enjoy throwing your opponent off guard. Okay. This will this works for me. I enjoy this. And then four energies for swing around, eight damage. Flip two coins, the attack does 40 more damage for each hit. It's not bad. It's just got no resistance, which sucks. Um, if there's a way to energy accelerate into that four for swing around, that would be fantastic. Um, otherwise, that drag off just by itself is amazing. Just messing with your opponent. Honestly, I just want to take one Pokemon, 50 damage. Next Pokemon, 50 damage. Next Pokemon, 50 damage. Not so much bothering. Oh, just that spread is amazing. That bench snipe. I like this. Hey, it's a Ross. Uh, nap, 30 damage. Uh, heal, 30 damage, sorry. Eh, nothing amazing there. Very cute artwork, though. Oh, that's such a great Curlia picture. Curlia, 80 HP, beckon. Put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. That I like. That I like a lot. Then quick turn, flip two coins, this attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. I'm not even worried about that attack, honestly. Uh, that beckon is awesome. Uh, using that mid game to get your supporters back to hand, or even like really early on if you get lucky. I like that beckon quite a lot. Um, do we get an evolution? Ah, no evolution. That that kind of sucks. No Gardevoir. Okay, Misdreavus. 60 HP and Haunt. Put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, okay, just, it just basically puts two damage regardless of resistance or weakness. Eh, not bad. Um, Wobbuffet. Oh, actually, that's not bad, because it put... It, that doesn't count as damage, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, this will go through stuff like Agility. And you're not dealing damage. So, I, I think this goes through, like, Press Guard as well, if I'm not mistaken. Because you're just putting damage counters, you're not dealing damage. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, I get, again, no evolution? Oh, that sucks. Wow, Buffett. 100 HP. Mir Mirror Barrier. 
Flip a coin, if hit, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn. So it's just obnoxious as it is in the anime. Right, well that works. Um, you just stall with this Pokemon. I don't know if I'd want to go for Rolling Tackle, but just stalling with it is pretty good. All right, um, yeah. Ooh, I like this already. I love Ghastly. Uh, let's see. 50 HP. Okay, it's on the weak side. That 50 worries me. Sleep Poison. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned? Oh, yes. I am okay with that. That is really, really cool. The fact that it's putting them both to sleep and to poison is amazing. Do we get an evolution? Yes! Okay. I'm really worried because like this deck so far is like has not had two evolutions ready, so I'm a bit sketchy. Haunter, 70 HP. That is low. That is very low for stage one Pokemon. It should be at least 80 or 90. Ooh, I don't like 70 HP. Gothic Fear. That sounds awesome. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may leave both active Pokemon confused. Okay. So you actually want to be evolving your, your Ghastly on the bench. And then switching in. Well, evolving with Haunt and then switching in. Poison Ring. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. That Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. I would like to at least do some damage as well. It's going to be 10 damage between rounds. That's a very low... Uh, like low hitting. Oh, that looks cool. I love that Gengar artwork. 130 HP. Sinister Fog. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put one damage count on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. More spread damage. That works really, really well with a Tediosa. It's only one energy. This is two for Poison Ring. And this is one for Sleep Poison. Honestly, I don't know if I'll actually use Haunter's Poison Ring ability too much. The fact that you can just stick with one energy is really, really good. Oh, it's got no retreat cost either. This Gengar is going to be flying around the battlefield. And then Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out? What? So if it just has 30 damage, it's just KO'd. Okay. Um, that's scary. I like that a lot. Dick only has one copy. Ugh. Okay. Wow, oh, that creep show is awesome. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, let's see. Noibat. Blood heal 10 damage. Eh. Okay, here's the mascot, Noivern. What do you do, my friend? 100 HP dragon. Weak to fairy, which means basically you weak to nothing. Tuning. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Then draw a number of cards equal to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. Oh, cool. Um, so it's basically just like a free copycat. Okay. Air slash. Discard an energy attached to this Pokemon for 120. Honestly, like, as cool as that is, like, 120 damage is not bad. Like, this Gengar is the star of the show. That creep show is just so cool. Okay, I like it a lot. Um, oh, Inkay. Disorderly flip. Flip four coins. This attack does 10 damage times number of heads. That's pretty cool. Are we seeing a map? Why do you have Inkay and no Malamar? What? This is just, this is a dead Pokemon. For two energies, yeah, th this is a dead Pokemon and I never want to play that. Cresselia? I'm surprised the deck runs like a Cresselia. Also a one-off. Okay, a lot of different types of Pokemon. My way. If there is any stadium card in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Ooh, very cool. Moonlight gain. Heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. It's not hitting very hard, but I guess it's a bit on the tanky side, but on the resilient side. Please let this deck actually run a stadium. Switch. Cool, nice old artwork. Only one switch in the deck. Uh, Prof status. Get two basic energy cards, reveal them. Reserve ticket. Flip a coin. If head, search your deck for a coin. Shuffle your deck and then put the card on top of it. Okay. Um, it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Wally. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX. And put it on, put it onto that Pokemon. This counts as evolving that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterward. You can use this card during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put into play this turn. 
And is, is it two of? I think it's two of. I'll double check this because that's awesome if there's two of. No, it's a one of. Damn. That Wally is awesome. Because you can use. Oh, okay. So you can turn to evolve Ghastly into Haunter. Basically, confuse both Pokemon. So, presuming Haunter is in your active spot. And then play Wally to get your Gengar out. That is awesome. And you can keep bringing Wally back with. Um. Where is it now? Curlia. Okay, I'm starting to see how this deck is put together. Pokefan Club, yeah, we get two base Pokemon, cool story. Skylar, search your deck for trainer card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, shuffle. So it's a, bit, it's a way to get, dig out Wally. Okay, 100% that's a way to dig out Wally. Uh, Giovanni Scheme, draw a card until you have five cards in your hand, or during this turn, your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, it's a, uh, that's a worse version of Prof. Uh, yeah, that's a worse version of Prof. The draw two bonus twin damage. I always forget the professor's name. Uh, well, how to say his name. Uh, I don't really like that card much. Uh, Fisherman, happy to see Fisherman. We got ourselves a draw three. Pokemon Center Lady, I like healing. I enjoy that. And then there's our energies. So seven dark and 29 um, psychic. What do we actually need the dark energy for? Is it just the... Okay, NK doesn't count. I'm never playing NK. Okay, so Noivern requires one dark energy. Gengar is only psychic. That's fine. And then it's the Zorok. Okay. So stuff like your Teddy Ursa line, you want to be putting psychic energy down onto. And you want to leave your darks to the Zoroks. Okay. Um, I'm liking this. I, I'm, I presume that means it's limited. Okay. This deck is interesting. It's very interesting. I'm scared it's going to be on the slow side because it doesn't have any energy acceleration and it doesn't have a lot of draw. But it's certainly interesting. Right, well, let's jump into some games. I'm keen to see how this deck goes. Uh, I haven't actually played enough this season. Uh, I was really hoping to get um, end of the uh, three stars, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, work, unfortunately, has not exactly been kind. Uh, let's see. Night Striker. Let's see how this goes. This is uh, going to be a very interesting deck. Um, I don't know. The Dark Tapping is a little bit awkward. This deck is... Oh, I was about to say that this deck is super weak to Towering Heights. Which we know is a prevalent theme deck in the meta. Case in point. Right, so let's see. Um, I want to say the deck wants to go second. At the same time, it doesn't. Um, I want to go second for Wally, that's about it. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, I can't even use Mystery because I've got Dark Energy. Mm. Well, I guess I could fix that with Prof's letter. Let me get a Teddy Ursa down because I really want to get the, the evolution going. Mischievous, maybe I, sh maybe I should have put Mischievous down. I don't know. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm very worried that they're gonna have a fighting type Pokemon down first. Ah, gibble. Well, there's Wally. Which means I can get the evolution out next turn. Which is pretty significant. Um, do I have it? Okay, Zorok is here. Ursaring is one. Ursaring is one. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name properly. Um... And the full gas line is there. Okay, so pretty, pretty much everything I need is there. Um, anything, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm gonna be able to evolve the Tidiosa, but I'm not gonna be able to actually use it. So I'm considering switching out because I don't want to take damage for nothing. So I'm actually gonna switch out into the Mistrevis. I can't attack this turn, so I'm just gonna put the energy on Tidiosa. Uh, the problem is that the Earth Ring needs um, three energies. And I'm not going to be able to get there on turn two, unfortunately. I, and I mean, this way, I guess I've got a chance to draw it. It's like a 1 in 44 chance to draw it. But hey, you never know. So let's see how that goes. Um, Strebus has a 1 energy cost retreat. 1 
energy cost for a retreat cost, which I wish she was free. That would be awesome. Um, I, wonder my opponent, uh, I wonder if my opponent is short on energies. Let's see, what are they going to do? Because I don't know if I want to bother charging up Mistrevis. I'm putting myself a turn behind with Ursa Ring. I got the Curlia, which is big, because I want to use Curlia basically as quickly as possible with Beckon. <clears throat> I want to get Beckon off at least once. Oh, I'm not going to take damage this turn. I could have stayed in. Oh well, that's a bit unfortunate. There is Noibat. Um... Let's get... Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Because at the same time... Tuning was one energy, if not mistaken. Which would be quite nice. So I'm just... I should put the energy there this turn. That was actually stupid. I should put the energy there. At least could have got 20 damage off. Um... So my plan is to switch out the Mistrevis. I'm actually I might use Wally for Neuvon for the fresh hands. I think that's a better option. Because this looks like it's going to be a bit of a slow start for my opponent. I feel like I should have committed to the Earth Ring now. I'm regretting it actually. I should have committed to it. Yeah, that was, def that was actually a mistake. I should have just committed straight. On the plus side, I haven't put damage down to charge of the throw yet, which is actually a good thing. We're going to see a switch here. I presume we're going to see a switch to get spike draw off. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It does no damage. Okay. Um. I'm tempted to just try my luck with a draw 3. Because it's not like my opponent's dealing damage. <sighs> Let me do a draw 3. Let me see what I get. Oh, uh, that was not worth it. 100% that was not worth it. Okay, that was a mistake. In the meantime, let me start charging up Noibat. And let's just hit done for there. Um, that was 100% not worth it. That was a big mistake. That was a really big mistake. Um, yeah, I think I was hoping for a Ralts. Uh, I was hoping to draw into Teddy Ursa, uh, into Earthswing. <clears throat> or even a Noibat. <coughs> Sorry. I'm not going to be able to get the, the attack off next turn. Hmm. I'm playing very slowly. That's not good. I'm really playing very slowly. So let's bring out this Neuvern. I don't have that drag off. I think his drag off is pretty scary when I'm going up against this deck because of how much Thrall likes to just swing his weight around. So let's drop that down there. Let's retreat out into this Neuvern. Remember if he's only got 100 HP? That is pitiful. That is pitiful. Well, that's a pretty decent hand. There's the Ralts, which is something I needed. Um, there's the Ghastly Haunter line, which is again, something I needed. So when I'm, when I'm ready for the switch out, I can do it. I'm a little bit concerned about this Pulpitoad. This is a deal 20 more damage. Huh. I'm scared Poppetoad comes in this turn. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Mmm, that's frustrating. I'm going to be losing Neuvern. Oh well, look, Neuvern, Neuvern got me a very, very good hand with that copycat. Um, so I'm okay with that. The problem is I'm on the back foot for energies, which is quite scary. 
So let's put that there. Let's get the ghastly down. Now, do I want to get Rolls down or do I want to get Zorok? I think I want to get Rolls down in the hope that I can bring out what's his face, the Curlier. Uh, nothing else to do here. How much energy do I have on this side? Only one, so I'm not going to play Fishman just yet. <sighs> Terrible card. And let's go for Air Slash. Um, I'm sitting in a bit of a problem now where. Honestly, I might go into Wobbuffet next turn. Just for the barrier. There's Skylar. Skylar. I don't think Skylar does anything for me. Um. I'm trying to think. I don't think Skylar does anything for me. I'm considering just letting my opponent take a Mischievous so I can evolve the Haunter. I guess I, a lot of this is going to stick down to whatever my next draw is. <sighs> so take for trainer card reveal and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck afterwards. Okay. Um, I'm behind in energies. Which is not good. We mashed for prize cards. But evolve, to evolve one of your Pokemon you may leave both active Pokemon confused. That's what I want to do. It might buy me a turn. So let's leave both of them confused. Let's use Skylar to get me a... They don't move the top of my deck, so let's get myself a reserve ticket. Such a risk. Ah, I hate that it's a flipper coin. I'm going to flip a coin and either bring out Teddy Ursa or bring out Gengar. Um... Man, that's frustrating. Okay, let's play this. What do I get? I get... It's really irritating as a coin flip. Ah, man, that's frustrating. Okay, um... Let's get the Zorok down now in the meantime. Opponent for X Pokemon is not poison, you can't retreat treat during your opponent's next turn. I still get KO'd though. So I think this energy... I want to start charging up this Teddy Ursa. I'm leaving the Psychic Energy for now in case I need it for either the Rolts or for the Haunter. Oh, that Reserve Ticket's actually really irritating the fact that it's a coin flip. It's basically a 50% chance to put a card you want on top of your deck. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not, um, well, I know how I feel about that. That's not great. This deck's got a lot of dead cards. It's got a lot of dead cards. Like, as cool as, like, the Zorok is... Eh. Like, the Inkay's 100% are dead cards. This Giovanni Scheme is a dead card. Um... No, oh, it's quite frustrating. Why not just switch into... Garchomp and then retreat back into Thrall. That way Thrall can get a KO. This my opponent is desperate for a draw. What are they desperate for? Okay, um, I'm still hoping that Ursaring comes out. It's not great in this deck, get in this matchup. Actually, I don't know why I'm building it. It's weak to the entire deck. Yeah, I don't know why I'm building that. It makes no sense. I don't know why I'm building that card. Okay. There isn't like a uh, costly, which I don't really need. Um, there is not much I can do with this hand. Um, I guess I can Fisherman. To bring these energies back to my hand. Uh, this is tough. Um, Gengar only needs one energy. The Rolts, Curlier only needs one energy. Wobbuffet needs one energy. Zoror, uh, Zorok needs two. So let me put that dark energy there. And let's just carry on passing. 
Sorry, everyone, this is a very boring game. Um, I'm kind of waiting for my stage ones. And stage two in Gengar's case. Yeah, I'm basically just waiting for my evolutions. Hmm. This is a bit frustrating. Like, as nice as this hand was from Noivern, it's actually not that nice. It's just all basic Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, the frustrating thing is that even if I bring out Ursa Ring, I'm just throwing damage around the board against a deck that wants to have damage on this bench. Man, I don't know what to do. It looks like my opponent's having energy troubles, which I mean is a good thing for me. Um, that might have just changed. I need to get Curlia out to bring back that Wally. What? Yeah. I don't know, I basically just got basic Pokemon that can't do anything. This is gonna be, this is such a boring game. This is an absolutely boring game. I'm gonna start charging a Wobbuffet. It's hitting me for super effective. I don't know what else to do. Um, because this stalemate is not benefiting me. Because my opponent is outdrawing me hard right now. Uh, because this rolling tackle does 50 damage. It'll do 100 damage, which will knock out a simian, which I don't really want to knock out. I want to knock out Thrall. Uh, Groudon now terrifies me, which means my opponent is going to be ahead in, uh, energies. Um... I don't know what to do. That's why I hate a deck that runs one ofs. I don't understand. I don't get the point of it. Like I like this deck. I don't like these draws, but I like this deck. It's a really interesting idea for a deck. But it's one ofs. One ofs doesn't work. You, it's just too unreliable. I love that Gengar though. I super love that Gengar. Um, I'd love to actually make a Gengar deck with that. That's so cool. Although I'm pretty sure it's out of rotation by now. Not entirely sure, actually. Um, just fun. I mean, as long as the Pokemon has three damage counters on it, it just gets knocked out. Which is crazy. Okay. Um... I don't know if I have an out. Because like as cool as Gengar is, his entire bench just knocks Gengar out. This was just too slow. I should have gone for the Ursa Ring. I'm going to take this knockout just to get a knockout, but I mean, it's not great either way. Uh, another card I don't need. I'm just drawing basic Pokemon. There are too many basic Pokemon in this deck. There are way too many basic Pokemon. Why did that like, knock out? Oh, Thru has 120 HP. Uh, I thought Thru had 110. I'll show you Giovanni's scheme. Oh my word, are you kidding me? Whoops. Okay, well that was a big mistake. I don't know why I thought Thor had 110 HP. Okay, uh, that's awkward. Now this dead card I could have actually used. Tempted to just throw Teddy Ursa in, just to get a knockout. Honestly, I'm just gonna get a knockout. The thing is, this game's over and done with. Uh, and if I keep getting draws like this, it's 100% over and done with. Let's put the energy on Bob Fett who can maybe stall out a bit, and let's just flop. Alright, let's see what happens. What do we get? Pokemon Center Lady, another card we don't need. This deck has got so many dead cards. It's got so much potential, but so many dead cards. Ah, oh, man. 
Like, I was so excited for this deck reading through the Haunter line. Um, but now I'm just bummed. This deck likes to stall though. Because it's got a lot of confusion, a lot of damage block. I wonder if I can <sighs> Oof, I'm cutting it fine. I wonder if I can stall out my opponent. What are the chances of me stalling out my opponent? So just going for that mystical barrier and going for as many confusion uh, as many confusion attacks as I can. That's the second Cynthia, right? This is the third one. The second one. I wonder if I can stall them until Gengar can come out. I think Gengar doesn't get a knockout. Oh my word, these draws. Can they stop? Okay, well, let's just mirror barrier and see what happens. Basically, a worse form of agility. It's agility without the damage. But it means I'm not getting knocked out this turn, which is buying me a turn. Which is most certainly useful. I wonder if I can, <laughs> if I can do this 12 turns in a row, I'll win this game. Well, 13 turns in a row, I'll win this game. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that's what I need to resort to, is just basically just drawing out my opponent. Hmm. can't hit me bro, why are you discarding of energy? Oh, why? I don't need more energy. Ugh. Let's get that there. None of this I want. Well, maybe I want... I can, if I get a second horn trout, I can slow my opponent down. Let's see. Mirror barrier? Okay, never mind, that's game. I got one more chance, which is in the form of, um, Zora. I can see if I can get a confusion off and just confuse store my opponent. So I basically do that like 12 times in a row. Which to say, or oh, just, no, I, that won't actually work because they can just retreat out. They can double, they can just retreat and switch. Okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, that's game then. That's sad. Oh yeah, well that's our first loss unfortunately with this deck. I think this is a really bad matchup. I think laser focus is worse. I think this is a bad matchup, but I think I played this quite badly. I should have committed to like Ursaring or something. That Neuvern, I don't know, that Neuvern I feel like was the right play, but I got really bad cards from it. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Was it Neuvern play the right one? Using Wally for that. Because I really don't know. Because I feel like now it wasn't worth it. More basic Pokemon. Problem was, I needed Zorok to come out, I needed Ursaring to come out, I needed Curly to come out, I needed Gengar to come out. Those are the Pokemon I needed, and they just didn't come. I think that's not a stadium either, so Cresselia is kind of useless. It's very janky. And it's just Poison Ring. Cool, you poisoned and you can't retreat. Ah, uh, I don't know, this, this deck is definitely aged. It's very cool. It's a very cool deck. With a lot of potential. But it's aged. It's aged a lot. Um, I like going to go straight from Ghastly into Gengar. I like that a lot. Uh, and I like that beckon from the Curlier. <sighs> there's a lot I like about this deck. This is why I'm so frustrated. Like, there's so much I like about this deck. But it just doesn't work. Why are you stalling? Like, you literally get a knockout right now. What are you doing? Okay, um, that was a bit frustrating. I definitely want to have some more games with this deck. This deck interest. I did 250 damage that entire game. That is depressing. This deck interests me a lot. It's definitely piqued my interest. Um, I don't know. I, it's just it's not great. Really, of all of the decks to match up against, I'm matching against Towering Heights right now. 
Like, I want to showcase that um, Earth Ring, but against Towering Heights, it's terrible. Got no energies. Are you joking? I'm going second. Honestly, I'm going to go to Womp Fed and just stall. If I manage to draw an energy, I'm just going to stall. This is so frustrating. My luck is not with me tonight. So the thing is, like, these two supporter cards are really great, right? Because Pokemon Fan Club can bring out the Ghastlies, which I can evolve into Haunter later. And the Skylar can bring out the Wally, which will turn the Haunter into a Gengar. Which is really, really cool. But... I have no energies. Which is useless right now. So, I definitely want to get a... Where is it? Ghastly and a Noibat. So, Earthstring is in and Gengar is here. So that's important. The fact that Gengar is here is huge. So is Curlia. Um, right, so we got that going for us. However, we don't have any energies. Which is problematic, to say the least. Inke is such a dead card. I'm actually irritated, like... I think... Having energies in the deck would be more useful than having this in K. Let's just orderly flip two energies on a 50 HP Pokemon. Not a chance. On top of that, it's flip four coins, which you know how much I love that. Uh, this deck does 10 damage times the number of heads. Okay. Now what do I do? So, Haunter comes out. Hmm. Yes, definitely confused. Noiburn comes out. Then I need to... Skylar. I didn't actually check if Wally was in my deck. Oh, my word. Wally is not in my deck. Wally is a prize card. Ooh, that's a problem. Hmm, I don't know what to do now. If I want to do reserve ticket and gamble again, or just go for a tier no. <sighs> Risk it for the biscuit. So let's prof this. Let's get our energies. Uh, one of each, may as well. Let's put that darkness energy down on Noivern, who's going to come in next turn most likely. And let's see if we get a Gengar. Again, no. Ah, that's so frustrating. So frustrating. So like, I could have put the energy on Mobafet, but the fact that it's confused means I basically need to win a coin flip for confused and win a coin flip for Mystic, for Mirror Barrier. That's, I've got to win two coin flips, right? Me. I have to win two coin flips. That's never going to happen. So, I would much rather put that energy on Noivern. And of course my opponent gets through Confusion. Why wouldn't my opponent get through Confusion? Where is the fun of my opponent not getting through Confusion? So, let's put that down there. Um, there's the Earth Ring, which is pretty cool actually. Uh, let's get the energy down to Haunter. And let's go for Tuning. So it's not a big draw, unfortunately. I'd love to get the Earth Ring online actually with Drag Off. That would be so cool and be able to hit this Mew. Because unfortunately, Mew actually blocks Gengar completely. Which is a problem. I don't know what to do. Noivern, I feel, is going to retreat out. No, man, what are you doing? No one can retreat out if need be. Energy is not what I need. Um, honestly, considering a, tun a tuning right now. Yeah, I'm gonna tune. This hand is terrible. I'm only getting two cards, but maybe it's a Gengar. This is basically the same value hand. 
because that noi bat did not have much value and the fisherman had no value huh the problem is this earth ring actually has to come in and knock out this mew there's Cressilia which is I guess pretty cool um I need to deal with that new. F I wish my brother had more ha more cards in their hand. Now I'm wishing I played that Noibat. Oh well. Mistakes were made. Hmm. This is an awkward game. So there's the energies, which means I can now retreat out this Noibone. Unfortunately, it means... I thought Noibone was a free... Oh, I thought Noibone was a free retreat cost. Ah, that's frustrating. Um, right, so here's my problem. Earth Ring doesn't knock out Mew. Which means I'll put an energy there, retreat Mew into Thor, and Thor thrashes me. So, I'm going to let Noivern go down for another tuning. And that is not a great hand. I don't like relying on one-offs. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see. There's Mastrevis for what it's worth. Um, honestly, I'd rather have all the fate down. So, I want to use drag off, but I need to knock out this thrall. Um, no, I'll just do it like this. Okay, let's swing around. Let's see. Okay, we're just getting a KO here. Can we get Wally? Which one is Wally? That one? Hey! That's Wally. Okay. That means Gengar can come up, right? But now, the issue is... Gengar does nothing so long as that Mew is on the bench. So I'm going to put this Ghastly forward. And I really, really hope I draw an energy. I was about to say, watch it be a dark energy. Oh, I can't even about to do this. I'm about to Wally into a Noibone. I'm honestly about to Wally into a Noibone because Gengar does nothing because of Mew. Do one damage count on each of your opponent's Pokemon. I'm just want to read this ability quickly. You prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Now, it's not damage done, you're putting a damage counter. So I'm gonna see if this works. Quite frankly, this game is over. I wanna see if this works. So we're gonna put an energy there, and we're gonna do it. Because quite frankly, I haven't got nothing to lose. So let's see. Sinister Fog. Does this go through Mew? It does go through Mew, okay. That's good to know for future games. Um, fortunately now it doesn't really do a whole, a whole lot, because unfortunately Creepshow just doesn't knock out. I like this Gengar though. Like, I'd really like to make a standard deck around this. Around this like creep show since the fog. Cause imagine like turn two rare canding off into this Gengar. But I guess like most standard decks are don't have a really full bench. They've got like one or two Pokemon on it. I guess it doesn't do that much actually. This is really cool. I like the creep show a lot. I'm a sucker for poison. I don't know why. I like I like status conditions. I find them an interesting way to play the game. Um Yeah, I like it. I must say I love this artwork as well. 
If I point them, just pass. Oh, they can't do trembling ground twice in a row, of course. Let's get that done there. If I draw an energy, at least I can use tuning again, which is something, I guess. Um, honestly, right now I'm just gonna play Mystery to get it out of my hand. Uh, it's got a zero retreat cost, which means I can actually save this Gengar. Uh, do I want to do that? I think I want to do that. Let's get Gengar out of there and let's go into... Now I really wish I had an energy. Let's go into this Ghastly because I'm never going to be able to get another Gengar off because I have one. So go ahead, use Trembling Ground, my friend. I wouldn't be surprised, surprised to switch out into a guard chomp. Okay. Um, oh, this is going to drought. I wonder if going to drought and put size Seismitoad online. Towering Heights is such a counter to this deck. It's actually ridiculous. Like, if you think about it, the entire Towering Heights counters this deck. <sighs> hey! We got an energy, so no, no one could do something. Actually, I can get a straight KO. Let's do Creep Show. I, I just want to do it. So, Creep Show. Goodbye. You're just knocked out. That is such a cool ability. That is honestly one of my favorite attacks. That is, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just amazing. I love that so much. Unfortunately, our Gengar is going to hit incredibly hard, which is very, very sad. Um, but hey, that's all right. I got to see Creepshow go off, and I got to see Cinderfog go off. And we learned that Sinister Fog goes through Mew because his damage counters, not damage. Which is quite cool. Um, hey, hey, resistance, my friend. You don't knock me out. There is the dead card. Um, do I want a poison scar charm? Because I think we can just switch out. Do I want to preserve Gengar? There's actually not really much of a point. I'm just going to go for Sinister Fog. Just poison. Um, this game is unfortunately over. I can't believe I matched Towering Heights twice in a row. So, what do I think about this deck? This nice striker deck, honestly, is not good. I don't put much merit in this deck. That being said, it is an interesting start to a deck. By no means good. No means good. But a very interesting deck. Yeah, well played, my friend. Um, so, would I recommend you pick this deck up? No, not a chance. The reasoning for that is this deck runs way too many one offs, and that's the problem. It's got way too many one offs and way too many filler filler cards. And that's the problem. So I'm going to jump to one more, try and get a win with this deck. Uh, I'd like to walk home with at least one win um, with each theme deck. As I believe there is potential in any theme deck. Sometimes it feels like polishing a turd. And unfortunately that's what this deck is. It's not a deck that's aged well. But like I said, interesting mechanics. That Wally is really cool. Gengar is really cool. That uh, Zorak, which I haven't gotten off yet, is really cool. Oh, thank you, we're not against Towering Heights. Okay. That is nice. I'm glad we're not against Towering Heights again. Um, Stormcaller is still a pretty scary deck, actually. It's still a very good deck. Um, I actually lost quite badly to it this morning, I was playing. I was playing Soaring Skies into it, and it just thrashed me. Uh, let's go for... I'm going first. Which is really irritating because Ghastly sucks going first. Noibat? Yeah, let's just go Noibat. Um, none of these I really want to start with. If I was going second, that Ghastly would have been awesome. 
Let's get all of these basic Pokemon down on the bench. Um, I guess let's put this energy up there. So the next one I can use Blot. Let's play that. Let's thin our deck slightly. And let's see. So Zorak is there, which I really want to see it at one time. Earthring is there. Curlius are there. Gengar is there. One Haunter is a prize card. One, okay. Not great, not terrible. Where's Wally? There's Wally. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I'm so funny. Cool. Uh, let's end this. <laughs> okay. Um, next turn. What do I do? If I'm not paralyzed. So if I'm not paralyzed next turn. Uh, that's not something I want to see. Alright. Noibat is weak to lightning. Which means I'm getting knocked out next turn. Unless I draw a Noivern. Hmm. That is most unfortunate. Because that is not a Noivern. Um, do I want to preserve this Noibat? I can't play Haunter because I need Haunter to confuse them, um, the next evolution, the Flaffy. Um, so I guess let's just start charging up Ghastly. Ghastly, Ghastly. Blot. Not a great start. I'm scared they have an Ampharos. I'm really scared they've got an Ampharos. Because if they do... This horn to confuse itself. Will confuse itself. So, let's do this. Let's say you're confused. Let's put that energy there. And let's pass. I feel like I should have been boarding Teddy Ursa. I think I should have been building Teddy Ursa. I didn't risk the attack. Interesting. Let's do that. And let's retreat into Haunter. Let's go for Poison Ring. Cool. So you can't retreat and you're taking 10 damage. So basically, unless you have an Ampharos, you're in trouble. Um, and hopefully you don't get to attack through Confusion. The Poison Ring should deal damage. At least like 10 damage. How does my opponent always attack through confusion? And watch this horn to now knock itself out. Okay. That luckily is not gonna happen. <sighs> okay. Tidiosa. There's poison ring again. Let's see. Please can my opponent be confused? Hit yourself in the head. Oh, I'm not gonna risk it. I don't know why I play this game sometimes. I really don't. Uh, poison ring. Because I got nothing better to do. I'm gonna go to Teddy Ursa next turn though. Um, oh, that's even better, actually. Oh, but I can't retreat back. If I had a way to swap out the Twelve Effect, I would. But it's so expensive. That mirror barrier. Um, you know what? Let's actually do that. Let's retreat into Twelve Effect. Goodbye, Darkness Energy. Let's have some fun. Um, let's put that Psychic Energy on Mob Effect. And let's just use Mirror Barrier. And it fails. Lucky me. And now Naganadol comes in and wrecks my life. There's reserve ticket, so maybe I can get Gengar out. I don't know if I want Gengar right now. Hmm. Yeah. 
I really needed that mirror barrier. So the thing is, I don't know if I want Gengar because Gengar gets one shot at fire, not gonna die. So I think what I want is to bring out. Oh my word. That's three times now that card has failed me. I don't think we're gonna win with this deck. I'm certainly gonna play it off camera until I get a win, but. Wow. I'm just gonna keep feeding him prize cards until I get an evolution. Yeah. Man, this is frustrating. Yeah, I, I don't think this is a good deck. <sighs> These decks have just aged too badly. Uh, I do think what I really want to do is set up those like locked format, the way theme decks should be that you can play like within the format. I want to set up that with, I wanted to set that up. Um, let's retreat into this um, Zora. Again, we got no cards. So yeah, just playing like X and Y decks against X and Y decks on my Discord. I think that's the way to do it in the future. Because this just, this isn't working. I'm just getting thrashed. That's the card I wish was in this deck. This deck just doesn't deal damage. He's like... No matter what I draw here, it doesn't actually do anything. Wow. Talk about not doing anything. Uh, poison Ring, well played. Okay, I won't lie, I'm glad that's actually over. This deck did not perform well. I was so excited about it, because I think Gengar is such a cool ability. But with a deck of one-offs, it's just not viable. Alright, so this is a bit of a disappointing old theme deck, but hey, sometimes it happens. You win some, you lose some. So regardless, thank you so much for watching. Please do consider liking and subscribing. If you haven't checked me out on Discord yet, please do join the server. The link is down below. Great community, lots of talking, and a great place to meet up people, and play how you want to play. So as always, thanks so much everyone. Cheers, and enjoy.